Thank you for coming by and watching this video. If you enjoy this video or feel you've benefited from it, consider going to patreon.com forward slash newbiehack and support these efforts. You'll have access to 20 of my latest videos that hasn't been published on YouTube yet. In this part of the tutorial, we're going to send a byte to the port B and port C pins that we designated as the output pins for the LCD. At this point in the tutorial, you should have the RCC register set up, the port B and port C set for output for the pins that we're going to be working with, which are in port B, it's pins 12, 13, 14, and 15, and port C, 6, 7, 8, and 9. We also tested the LEDs to make sure that we have our circuit connected correctly and we have the programming and the correct bits set correctly. At this point, we don't really need this anymore because we're just using this as testing. These are the, the bits set and reset register and we're just turning on the bits just to see if they work. So we can delete that. Let's create some pseudocode so we can know what to do in our program. So let's send a character or a byte to port C and port B. To be able to send a byte to disparate pins and disparate ports, we'll need to send bit by bit from the byte, from the character. So we're using the character, I'll just put it here, A, and that's zero, one, five zeros, and a one. And that's the, the byte represented as a binary notation. So you can see that we need to send each of these bits to the respective pins that they're gonna be going to. And port B will be the first, well, port B will the, be these sets of pins or these sets of bits. And port C will be this set of bits because that's the way we set it up in the circuit. This will be 12, 13, 14, 15 on port B, and this will be six, seven, eight, and nine on port C. So what do we need to do first? We need to test the first bit or test bit number zero on the byte and send it to port B, pin 12. And we need to do this for each pin. And I'm writing it in longhand right now because by writing it in longhand and showing each test of each bit, you'll get an understanding of what's going on. And then we'll take that and we'll clean up the code a little bit, make it a little bit more code friendly. And we'll put this in a function. So all we're doing is we're putting the letter A to that function and it automatically sends it to the, those pins and ports. So let's get started on the actual code. This is all we really need right now because we're going to be sending it to the, to the pin and that LED will either light up or it won't. So let's do number 12 first. Well, first let's actually set up a character. So let's call it a car character is equal to A. And this A is actually equal to this binary number. So we're going to be testing for this number first. But how do we test a single bit in a byte? That actually seems quite difficult to do, but it's not. We're just going to use bitwise operations and a mask to determine what this particular bit is out of this entire byte or this entire character. What we're going to do is we're going to take a number for the letter A. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And we need to find out what this one is. So we're going to use a mask, which is putting a one where we want to figure out what bit we want to test. So the mask looks like this. And we are anding. This is a bitwise operation of and. And the and truth table says that a one and a one is going to always be a one. A zero and a zero is going to be a zero. And a zero and a one will also be a zero. So now we know that we have the number one. So this is a true. So how do we write this in code? We're going to use that and in an if statement. So if the character, which is the same thing as saying this, 
and the mask of 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's the same thing as saying this. This is the character. And we use the and. And we have our mask for the character or for the bit that we want to test. So in that case, we know that we're going to get a true result. So what do we need to put there? We need to light up that LED because we know this is going to be a 1. Only if it shows true. But we, all, we also, if we have A here, we know this particular one is going to be true. So we'll use the bit set and reset register for B. And we're going to or equals because we're going to be setting it. We're going to be putting a 1 in that bit. And we're going to use the bit set part of the register. And this is going to be number 12. If this position is a 0, then we want to reset that bit in the register. And we're using, for resetting it, you, you might think that we want to do the AND and NOT to take the bit out of this or make this a 0. But we don't really want to do that because we're going to be putting a 1 in the bit reset register, which will automatically reset the bit set register to 0. So we're using the bit reset and then 12. Now let's move on to the next bit. So this would be bit 0. So bit 1, using the same number, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. We're going to AND. And our mask will look like this. And you can see that the one we're going to test now, bit number 1, has the test bit in the second position. So we can do the arithmetic, the bitwise operation, and we know that 1 and 0 is equal to 0. 1 and 0 is equal to 0, so that is a correct determination of this second bit. It is a 0. 0, 0 is 0, and 1, 0 is a 0. So now this is equal to false. So in this case, this particular bit and pin will not be lit up. It will not make the LED shine. I'm just going to copy and paste this code because it's the same thing. You can see that we only need to change a few things on this code and that allows us to understand that we can also create a function to do the same thing. So we're creating the mask. You know, this is not the right mask. I should be putting a zero here. So we're creating a mask where the one is in the second position. In this one, it was the first position, and in this one, it's the second position, or bit 0 and bit 1. And if the second position, or bit 1, is equal to a 1, then it'll turn on the pin number 13 on port B. If it's a 0, which in this case it will be a 0, it'll reset that LED. So we're going to do that for the rest of the B. So the next one will be the third position or bit number 2, and this will be affecting pin number 14. And we have one more port B to, to test. So it'll be the fourth position, or bit number 3, and this will be the 15th pin, uh, or pin number 15 for port B. And now for the C. We're doing the same thing, we're just going to be changing the C, the B to a C. And the first one is bit number six, pin number six. This is the bit number five, or position number five, bit number four. And this will be affecting pin number seven on bits on port C. We have two left to go. Okay, and then one left. One remaining, which is the seventh, the seventh bit. I think I had one too many bits here. No, I must have. That's the first, second, third, fourth. Ah, there we go. Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth position, or bit number seven. And then you change this to nine because that will be 
the last pin we're using. Let's confirm those pins. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's correct. Okay, so there's a lot of code cleanup we can do here. You can see there's so much code here that it starts to get unwieldy very quickly. But we're going to clean all that up pretty soon. I just want to show this as longhand so you can see what is entailed in delivering a single byte character to disparate pins. So let's go ahead and test it and see if it works. Let's see if we got any build errors. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have used the quotes. I'm so used to using quotes in C sharp. So use a single, a single quote for the car data type. Let's try it again. Okay, no errors, no warnings. Now we can download the code to the microcontroller. I just noticed something that I did wrong, and this uh, I'm showing in just regular binary notation, but it's not code-wise binary notation. So I have to put a 0B in the front of each of these. You can see how this long code, longhand code, repeating everything by hand, can get really error-prone and messy. Okay, now let's do that again. And you also notice that, you know, we didn't get any errors before because this won't show an error. It'll be an error in runtime, but it won't be an error when you're building the code. Let's go ahead and program it. Okay, the microcontroller was programmed. And you can see that bit zero, the bit position zero, the first position is a one like we would expect. And then the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, those are all zeros, which is correct. And then you have the second to the last one, or the seventh position is a one, and then the eighth position is a zero. So this shows the letter A correctly in binary format on the LEDs.